looking at the go big or go home surfing of Dane Reynolds. So, Clay, we're looking at Dane Reynolds today. Now, before we get into the the iPad, there's you, you actually have a story about Dane Reynolds and him coming to order a board from you when you're in South Africa. Yeah. Um, so he was on the Quicksilver team at the time, and I was writing for Quicksilver. And Dane arrived in South Africa for the contest in Durban, which was a I think it was a five star QS event, and then he had gone and surfed the CT. But his boards didn't arrive. So the team manager at Quicksilver brought him around and said, hey, can you make some Dane some boards quick because he's got no boards to ride. So I made him two quick ones. The interesting thing is he said, I don't want a fast board. I want a board that can turn. And for me, that just blew my mind. I was like, what does he mean? Because I used to really like fast boards. Mm. And now I know that intermediates surf the middle of the wave and they just want to go really, really fast. So back then, I would almost say that I was an intermediate surfer making intermediate boards. And then here comes Dane saying, hey, I want an advanced board to do top to bottom surfing. Yeah. And I'm like, wow. Like, I understand now, but at that stage, I had no clue. Yeah. So, yeah, really interesting chat with Dane. Yeah. And so with Dane surfing, which we're going to bring up on the iPad in just a moment, but with Dane surfing, he just fully commits to everything, doesn't he? And, he, and, and you sort of said, he does it his own way. Like, he doesn't want to be like sort of stuck with any any confines and rules he just wants to go out there and just do it Let, let's get do. into it watch a couple and then so wave one uh takes off and the the bit oh, he just looks so relaxed look at a little coffee cup <laughs> you, you know what this is mick fanning but like the american style of mick fanning a little bit more raw a little bit more rugged um great lines Look at that thing. Look how deep it is. It's, it's a beast. It's disappeared. Oh. Very nonchalant. He <laughs> just like comes out and just goes, yeah, no problem. Okay. Now, this is the part of Dan that I like. Like, look at the energy. See the arms up. Yeah. Uh, the can forward. The thing about Dan is when he comes off the bottom here, you don't know what you're going to get. That's what I love about Dan Reynolds. So, so when he bottom turns... You don't know what's going to unfold. You've got no idea that he's about to do that. <laughs> Look at the rail gouge. Like two fins out of the water, just heel edge in and just speed. Wow. Okay. Now, so you just did a, almost like a bit of a lay back, yeah. full rail turn, right? Watch the next section. Again, hands up. That, that, that forces the knees to bend. If you drop your hands, that forces the back to bend. Yeah. So he's loading up, even though. Well, you, well, you, you talk a lot about potential energy uh, and what you can see in a surf with, with their potential energy. And he just looks like he's always got so much potential going on. So leaning off the bottom turn. So I think this is potentially that oh. same, the same picture, I mean, the same video, yeah. just from a different angle. But that down car that he does. So think if you took off on a wave, the quickest way to get speed is down. Yeah. So if you look at the turn that he does, it's almost like he just repeats the takeoff straight down into the pocket. Oh, let's see the little check fade. He even takes it a bit further back. You see that? Oh, wow, Most yeah. people run. Dane just goes into the mouth of the lion and just like, <laughs> it's like, give me more. Yeah. It's sick. Now let's watch the second. Uh, Another little cheer bra oh, that he noticed there. Tucks in. Yep. Yeah. All right, so let's get us the second case. So obviously, different shirt on. Now over here. Well, look at how much, look how much you can see at the bottom of his board. So you knew on the last one you did that little layback snap. Yeah. All right, let's see what's going on over here. I did. Bang. What? what, what? <laughs> Hang on a minute. Yeah, Hang the, on a minute. That's called a nose pick. So, so basically what he does is he picks his nose into the water and digs it. And it almost stops. It causes his momentum causes the tail to go first to the beach, and he does like a little three sixty. That looks like he's like caked it completely, and then but all of a sudden he pops back out. Same setup, similar section, but look at the variety that he has. 
And that's what I love about Dane is he's surfing, he's all in. It's all or nothing. Yeah. But you never know what you're going to get. It's like Christmas and all, all the presents are the same size and you're so excited. They're big and they're all the same size. And when you open it, it's just, it's something different. You went for Christmas. I was actually thinking Forrest Gump. <laughs> yeah, Forrest okay. <laughs> Dane surf is like box chocolates. That's you what some more of going to get. Okay. So it takes off on a wave, really relaxed. Like how relaxed? Okay. Uh, I'm saying he's probably looking for a bit of an air section over there. Kadunk. Oh. Okay, so big air. A little bit of a oh. barrel shot. Um, rail grab carve, another variation, different type of surfing. It's crazy. Okay, so, so this is kind of well over here. He's going for the barrel. Oh. So... Like people look at him and go, oh, he's so relaxed. But look at, look at the hands forwards. Remember Mick Fanning talked about pushing the shopping trolley? So yeah. he's just come out of that barrel and he's kind of pushed that shopping trolley through the barrel. We call that being front on and we call this little arm back there, the coffee cup arm, where it looks like Dane could be holding a cup of coffee and not spilling it. Yeah. So again, I'd say another really good example of good technique is what the surfers look like between the turns. Yeah. Dane goes from this like wanting to pounce on you like an MMA fighter to holding cups of coffee through the barrel. Mm. And who else does that? There's, there's Mick Fanning, there's Parker, there's Taj Burrows, there's Andy Irons. Well, we've noticed it so much. In, in so many of these coaches' eyes that we've done, that whole coffee cup thing, it just we just see it time and time again. And it's almost the technique between the turns. Mm. And I think that's the big difference between intermediate surfing and advanced surfing, is what you do in between your turns. Yeah. A lot of the, um, the intermediates, it's almost like a bulldog eating breakfast. Have you seen that? <laughs> it's just like <laughs> And it's just spit flying and food's going everywhere and the intermediates just look like oh, 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 just scratching yeah. the chest and going nuts. Yeah. Well, in, in, in saying that, at the time of recording this, we've just come back from, from surfing down at the wave pool where obviously there are so many intermediate surfers down there. And the amount of movement that you've seen in, 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 in an intermediate surfer, my, myself included, versus somebody who is uh, an expert or experienced or a pro surfer, there's just a stillness to that, to that upper body. They don't, all, all of their moves are very intentional. So let's, let's break this down. Dane's obviously looking down the line. Oh, this is a good angle, yeah. He's not in a hurry to get there. Okay, he's almost waiting for the wave to set up. Can, can, can I just say one thing here? Yeah. Um, one thing that, that I'm going to point out that I notice a lot in intermediates, and I do this myself, is my hands, my hands, are, it's always like my, like, like my hands are they're either fist or they're, they're even if they're, they're straight, they're really tight. There's, it's almost like, like, like they're spades. If you look at Dane's hands, although the, the fingers are straight, they're, 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 you can see the gap between the fingers, so you know that there's, there's, a, there's, there's a slight no, relaxedness no tension. to his hands. So... Okay, just, just in this little breakdown, he's got his coffee cup hand out. Yep. So he's got his balance going. Look at how he changes angles to go down the wave. All right, okay. so in other words, he goes more nose to the beach to get more speed. Yep. But he softens the knees. So watch the back knee dip in there. Oh, yeah. Okay, so he shifts his, weights, his weight onto his front leg. Yep. Okay, so he actually loads up the front leg as he goes down the wave to create his speed. All right. The arm comes up. Yeah. Which basically on a trampoline, if I compress my knees and straighten my back, I'd go up the wave. Yeah. So he's creating lift whenever he does that. Now there's the lean. Now on this section over here, you don't know what he's going to do. And that's the part of Dan that we absolutely love is that bang. Cool. And look at the, this is what we call past the coffee, where he's looking, the elbow's up, and he's swinging that arm through. So I'd almost like to leave it there because often well, it's, it yeah. gets a bit confusing where we give away too much information. Yeah, so, so let's leave it there in terms of breaking down, Dane. Let's, let's, let's get back to a bit of a better, better screenshot. Let's go back to, say, here. So we've got Dane looking pretty cool on the screen. So with all of these videos, we like to give away like one takeaway. So next time someone's going out surfing, what could they take from Dane that they could then apply next time they're in the water? What would what would you say is the standout thing with Dane? We, we love his unpredictability. So in between the turns, Dane looks photogenic. Okay. Okay. So that's the one thing. And being photogenic is that, again, that potential for movement. 
and he's got his hand up, his knees are bent, and he's waiting for the moment. He's not winding up. He's almost using the wave to feel the wave, to set the wave up, that the timing's right, that when the wave says, let's go, he's ready. And he, he pounces on those opportunities. Okay. 100% effort. So, so what would that be? So in terms of, of an intermediate, everyday surfer going out there, when you're saying that, that looking stylish between the turns, what, what do we actually need to, to do? Is that stillness? Okay. Is that so, just stop so moving? So Dane waits for the wave to set up. Okay. A lot of people race okay. wanting to try set something up. So Dane uses the wave. Intermediates use their body. Okay. So that, that's a big point of difference. The other thing that I wanted to say about Dane is... When he goes into the turn, he hasn't kind of like overcooked the bottom turn. Okay. Okay. It's almost like his bottom turns maybe a 30, 40% bottom turn, which leaves enough, enough gas in the tank for a really big, unpredictable top turn. Okay. Where some people go like, Whoa! on the bottom turn, and it's like 70% bottom turn, and the top turn's like a 30%. Mm. Yep. Okay? Yeah. So... Dane uses wave energy. The bottom turn is just a setup. It's not his focal point. His, what do you call it? The, um, the, meat, the meat and the potatoes is all <laughs> in the top turn. Okay, yeah. yeah. So, so, so what I'm getting there is, is wait, don't race. Yep. And also, don't overcook that first bottom turn. Take those two things into the water next time you go in. Uh, who knows? You might end up having the unpredictable and uh, unknowing surfing of Dane Reynolds. Now, guys, uh, would love for you to, to subscribe to the channel. Also, hit that, hit that notification bell. Also, make sure that you head over to the website, onbe.co. Download your free four-week Surf Better program. We'll see you in the next episode of Coach's Eye.